Welcome to Smithtown Spotlight. Today's show will feature the Smithtown Highway Department. The department is responsible for the maintenance and improvement of the town's public road infrastructure. The infrastructure includes more than 470 miles of roads, drainage systems, recharge basins, driveway aprons, and curbs. The highway department also maintains a fleet of approximately 200 vehicles, including cars, trucks, and construction equipment. The town's maintenance responsibilities include snow and ice control, road patching, street sweeping, and the removal of brush and leaf bags. The Smithtown Highway Department annually undertakes approximately $8 million in road maintenance and improvement projects on our town roads. These projects include road reconstruction, resurfacing and installation of drainage facilities. We spoke to Highway Superintendent Robert Murphy about the responsibilities of the Highway Department and some of the current projects they are involved in for this year, and how he manages his crews and budget to save the taxpayers money. Highway's been around for over 75 years. Um, it's grown uh, tremendously. Uh, even though we've lost through attrition of manpower of 220 in the heyday, down to about 120. Many tasks, but we're still doing. Uh, we haven't lost any of the tasks, so we have to work smarter with what we have. And technology, morale, and the supervision has really helped Highway keep moving forward and in positive direction. The daily operations that Highway has, from snow removal in the winter to the road program in the summer, the leaf and bag program that the Highway is famous for, picking up the people's leaf bags and brush, uh, continues even though the manpower has gotten less. Highway has seasonal employees to alleviate guys that go on vacation during the summer. We bring in about 10 to 20 guys every season and that's usually from Memorial Day to Labor Day. My responsibilities at the Highway Department include dealing with the residents, um, their complaints, whether it's sidewalks, curbing, roads, personnel, any situations as personnel, ordering equipment, getting the right equipment for the guys, making sure we work smarter and you know with the best equipment, we get more done. And I think since I've been here, we've gotten better equipment and the guys really appreciate it. They appreciate the better machinery to work with. We need to be up to date with everything. And that's big for the guys. Highway approximately has about 110 pieces of equipment. The fleet is aging. We've taken it from Jim Dowling, was a superintendent for 39 years. He put a paint booth in. Uh, we've managed it, we've updated it, and we have employees that keep the equipment repainted. We have a welding shop, we have an automotive shop. It keeps the equipment up to date, especially with the aging cost of these pieces of equipment. Uh, when I came in, a six-wheeler or a ten-wheel six-wheeler was 135000 now it's 225000 A ten-wheeler used to be two fifty. now it's almost 400000 So with that shop that we have, the guys are phenomenal, take pride in what they're doing. The paint shop especially takes care of painting, they get rid of rust and everything. And also, we work with the other departments, painting signs. It's one of the only paint shops in uh, Suffolk County Township to keep the, the fleet going. With all that, it does save the taxpayers money because a lot of times I'll walk through the shop and say, when do we get that new truck? And it's, nope, it came out of the paint booth and it was just uh, repainted. And it's unbelievable what our guys, the pride that they take over the years, we've just instituted and kept it going. We got around 120 people, so whether it's dealing with the personnel here inside the building or the garage, we have around 24 mechanics and welders. And then we have roughly 80 guys that are working in the field. Then we have 20 some odd foremen. So I mainly deal with the foreman directly. It helps them get my word to the crews of what to do. It's hard to follow everybody around. They count on the foreman greatly, and they do a great job getting everything I expect done, done. And our guys do a great job expediting all the work. Very proud of this municipality. Just driving on Long Island, I just think from what I see, we, we're above and beyond as far as capabilities. And the guys really come through for us. So it's, it's great. Highway every year has a road program, and I have to present that to the town board, and the town board approves what roads are being redone, reconstructed. Infrastructure over the years has crumbled, 
as we know, it's gotten old. Instead of doing just milling and paving, we'll go in, we reconstruct the whole neighborhood, for new curbs, new sidewalks, new aprons, and then we come in and do an overlay of new paving. Drainages now, this highway, you know, in the town of Smithtown has gotten old. We are replacing the old steel pipes now with plastic pipes, but it's uh, not sexy. You know, everything's underground so you don't see it. The drainage is a major issue because it's starting to fail and working with the town board put projects on a priority. The Clean the Stream project was brought to my attention with mainly the Parks Department. We got involved with them and then we incorporated the EW and the county. So everyone pulled together. The streams that we got into were just overgrown, trees down, blockages. We got in there, we walked from one end of the stream to like where Village of the Branch goes, and then the Village of the Branch had the county take over. So everyone did their part. They did lower the water table in the stream, which will help the residents who have pumps in their basement for flooding issues. It'll help alleviate the water table under the ground that nobody sees. You know, there is a, there is a living, breathing water table under this. We felt it worked. Water was flowing nicely, so I thought it was a great idea, and I thought it was successful. I think it was great for the town to work together. All the departments helped out, well coordinated. I'm proud of that stuff, making a difference. I like things to see results, you know, and I think this was one of those things that was great. Meadow Road is a major corridor in Smithtown. We're redoing drainage there, and we're planning on paving that. We'll have to wait till the end of school year. As soon as school year is done, because it's a main thorough for the schools, close the road down. We've already fixed the drainage, and we're just ready to do an overlay come June over there. Long Beach is a community 55 dwellings down past Schubert's Beach. Over the years, I've come to learn that it's Pig's Creek. When you come around and everyone always sees if it's high tide or low tide, that roadway right there, been a major issue when we have high tide, full moons. So the town put a project together and they're raising that road 17 inches. Hopefully this will keep the water from coming over the road. They're putting up new guardrails. This will keep the residents down there safer, emergencies and stuff for the last five, six years, especially with the extreme weather that we're starting to get. This project is uh, instrumental for that community down there in Long Beach. The Gibbs Pond Road project, we were doing permanent patching there just to get by, you know, we do a lot of that permanent patch. To, it makes the roads safer. So I was doing Gibbs Pond Road recently, it was doing it in-house, getting these roads safer for now until we get back there and pave them all is another big savings. Otherwise, we gotta have to outsource and pay more. It's all safety, everything's safety issues for us. We have the six-wheelers, the 10-wheelers, you know, they haul material all sorts of things, pull trailers. Our biggest asset, I think, is this milling machine we purchased a couple of years ago. It's a Bomag milling machine. Instead of just using a skid steer to grind out potholes in that, this will mill out a whole road, shoot it into the back of a 10-wheeler, cut back on the cleanup, the manpower, the time it takes. Like, we can mill and pave a whole road, hire people to do. So that's an absolute savings for the town. I mean, we, we try to do a lot of stuff in-house, okay? We have a concrete machine that mixes its own concrete so we can make our own curbs, sidewalks, aprons, and other savings. I mean, it's been proven that we don't have to outsource this. They pay in prevailing wages. We're paying our guys their salary to be here Monday to Friday. We're doing productive work. That's an absolute, we do more than most in that field between the concrete and the asphalt. You know, we have bobcats and stuff that the landscape crew uses. The talent here is, to me, amazing, you know. Anything I ask these guys to do, we have someone that has it in their wheelhouse to be able to do. And the sweepers we have, we're always out there sweeping. I know folks don't always see it. We're proud of that. Smithtown's got a high regard for whether it's the plowing, just getting rid of the sand in the springtime. We really push for that to keep the roads as clean as possible to the best of our ability. You know, we have the garbage trucks, of course. We're out getting these leaf bags all the time. You know, they're never ending. It's always just, they're always out there somewhere. So we're always around doing something, you know, positive in the town. Well, the highway purchased a new milling machine. This milling machine does reprocess it, that whatever we're removing off the road is going back into the new asphalt, and that's called wrap, which is reprocessed asphalt product. The DEC mandated it's environmentally friendly because what we're doing is we're using that product again and again, and we're just not putting that into landfills and stuff. When we did the Lake Avenue project, there was a, a building called the Pubri or the Viking. We, we went in there, knocked it down. It's pride, but it's also fun. 
you know, these guys look at it as the demolishing and stuff, but that's that's part of what the highway can do, because we might have a fire, we'll get a call from the Smithtown Fire Department, hey, can we uh, have one of you guys come in and use the excavator and reach into the fire and put out stuff that we can't get into. So the multitasking that the highway has is just phenomenal. We have multiple crews, and all these crews save taxpayers money. Instead of sending it out of house and having contractors come in, the town of Smithtown prides itself in doing in-house on 90% of the projects that we do. And in closing, I'd like to say that, you know, helping and working hand in hand with, you know, the other departments, it's easy. I can make phone calls, they can call me, and they'll answer, and we help each other. Since I started here, I've built up friendships with other department heads just so we can get work done. There's, you know, it's, it's, it's one team, you know. We all, the folks pay their taxes for the whole, you know, town, so it's like uh, us working together, I think it's a big asset to everybody. As you can see, the Smithtown Highway Department does a lot more than pick up brush and leaves. Their crews give 110% every day, striving to give Smithtown residents the best road maintenance, snow removal, and brush and leaf pickup that they can. The Smithtown Highway Department is located at 758 Smithtown Bypass in Smithtown, New York. For more information, please call the Smithtown Highway Department at 631-360-7500 or visit us on the web at www.smithtowny.gov. For Smithtown Spotlight, I'm Kenny Bernardini and thanks for watching.